Hey, this is Tony with Tony's Car Care, Vanda, Illinois. Today, I want to show you how to replace the torque pins inside a window motor on OBS Ford Truck and Bronco. Technically, it's really from like 1971 Ford cars all the way up through these. Use the same thing. So, if you hear your motor running like that, nothing happening, that's what's going on. So, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Everything should be Phillips screws to get the door panel off. And I've said it before, I'll say it again, I like using old school tools instead of power tools because it's too easy to break the plastic when you're putting the stuff back on. The mirror switch usually unplugs pretty simple. You got three Phillips screws back here. Got one here. Got one up here. Well, where'd it go? And you got screws all across the bottom here. These aren't the screws that came out of this. They should be long. So you could at least get a hold of them. Now this screw is the one that should be in the bottom of there. Pull out on the door panel, lift it up, open your wing a little bit, get that out of the way. Lift up on your door handle and pull it forward. Twist out your light socket there. Take the speaker out. Get that out of your way. Oh, I dropped another screw. Yep, this speaker don't have the right screws in it either. Aftermarket speaker. Unplug your window motor. Get your thumb on there and push up the tab and just pull. Now. We had a camera mishap, so we've already been in here. I like to use a one inch hole saw because it gives you plenty of room to work. Ford gives you dimples, kind of like, I don't see any in here now, but they'll give you a little dimple in the metal that shows you where to drill holes for there. It don't give you one for here, but I always drill this one out anyway because it's just easier to get to. So take you an eight millimeter, Take out three screws that hold the motor in. And get your finger back there. That's why I like these holes to be drilled out that big, because you get your finger back there and hold on to it like that to get it without dropping it.
get your hand on the motor because it's going to want to fall out now. That's why it's good to have the speaker out and the motor already unplugged because it can fall down in the door. Up out of there. We'll go over here on the workbench. Now, not all these have got it. This one does. It's got a little snap ring on it. So, need to get it off here. Get in there. I got my cheaters on, but I still can't see it. Spread it open, get a screwdriver behind it, pull it off of there. Putting it back on is optional because you don't need it. Pry up the cap here. Oh, hold on. We got a screw right here. Forgot. Phillips. Well, they've squeezed these in too. And there's all your broken up plastic pieces. You get all them out of there, which you can. There's a bunch of pieces. If you don't get it all, it's not going to hurt anything. Get all you can. All right. Now, for years, I've been getting these from this company right here called National Automotive Lines, and they've since changed names and i don't remember what the name of it is i haven't had to order anything for a long time but there you go dollar 57 cents ford window motor gear torque pins so i used to buy them 20 at a time all right get your gear these are kind of hard to get set in there you set it back down you gotta Kind of get these set in there cockeyed, like so. These are tough. I don't expect they'll ever break again. Okay, get them set in there like that. Then we're going to walk over here to the vise. And we're going to squeeze them down in there. There we go. That's how it originally looked. Keeps it from spinning. But 
Phillips screw back in. Now, like I said, this is kind of optional putting back on. It's all stretched out anyway, but we'll put it back on. If I can get on it. I don't think it's doing much. You know what? We'll leave it off. Because it ain't necessary anyway. It's all stretched out. It's not coming out of there. It can't. Alright? This back down through the speaker hole. Get it lined up on your window regulator. Okay. We're gonna get one screw started here, that's the easiest one. Now a trick I like to show people if you don't have a magnetic tool, stick this piece of paper over the socket like that, stick the screw in it, and hold it in place, it won't fall, like so. Don't let the paper or anything like that fall down on the door because there's drain holes in the bottom of the doors that you don't want plugged up. You can just reuse this one over. Still tight. That way you don't have to worry about getting your finger down in there and it not hitting the hole before you drop it. So stick that right through there and the paper's holding it just fine. Well, I dropped it, so I'll grab it once we get the window up. Keys on, plug in the motor. There we go, just like that. There's the paper. This is why for years, I've been doing this since I was a teenager, I always give the window a little bit of a bump before I go down. And then I stop it and don't let it clunk down in the door because when it slams down the door like that, it just puts tension on everything. And that's why those pins break like that. That's why I see these people putting those automatic roll down things in their vehicles. That's one of the dumbest things you can do, especially if there's ice, you know, on there. You don't want that window just taken off. So just bump it a couple times before you go up or down. Get to the top, stop, and just bump it up in there a little bit. You'll never have to replace those again. So, put the speaker back in. Turn that key off.
when people replace this stuff, I don't know why they don't use the factory screws. It just blows my mind why they think they got to use something different. I'm gonna wipe this off because this moisture barrier is never gonna stick again. So we're gonna stick some tape on it to keep it up. Just enough to hold it up out of your way. I love it. Grab your door panel. Push this up through here. Twist your light back in its socket. Somebody's replaced that with an LED. Stick your fingers through here, get a hold of the door handle. Lift it up with your finger. On there. Lift up over the door lock. That's why I don't like power tools. Stop right there about snug, that's good enough. Especially on these, it's easy to break this plastic out. Air switch back in. This clip broke too, which is real common on these. Just snug, no cracking.
pin. These aren't the right screws. They're barely long enough. And that's all there is to it. It's replacing the torque pins in your window motor. Again, stop before you get to the bottom. Don't let it just slam down in there. Now, stay tuned to my channel because before long, I'm going to show you how to add this remote keyless entry snake of wires from a Thunderbird and Cougar to the factory OBS keyless entry module and put the keypad on your door and pretty much make it all plug and play. I'm going to be working on that in the next few weeks. So subscribe to my channel and please like it and stay tuned. Thanks a lot.